and Cherries and welcome to lesson four this week. So today is our last lesson for the week. We have been looking at 2D and 3D shapes and to be successful over this whole unit we are going to be learning the mathematical language so that we can talk about 2D and 3D shapes. Okay, so today our learning objective is to be able to discuss features of a cube and a sphere. So at the end of this lesson, you will be able to name a cube and a sphere, and you will also be able to start discussing some of their features. Some of you may even be able to say the difference between a cube and a sphere. Okay, so let's start with what is a 3D shape? So 2D shapes are flat, and 3D shapes are fat. They are solid shapes. So we cannot pick up a 2D shape off the floor. 2D shapes make up our 3D shapes. However, I can pick up a 3D shape. So here I have a 3D shape for you. It is a cube. Can you see? So let's go through some of the features of a cube. So we started by thinking about the faces on 3D shapes. So this 3D shape here has got one, two, three, four, five, six faces. Okay, so there's six faces on the outside of this shape. All of the faces are a 2D shape. Can you work out what this 2D shape might be? Well done. The faces on this 2D shape are squares. So cubes are made up of six, six square faces. So I'm just going to pop that on my board here. A cube has six square faces. And if you remember, yesterday we were talking about some of the features of 3D shapes and we said that the bottom of a 3D shape is called the base. So what do you think the base of this 3D shape would be? Well done, it would have to be a square, wouldn't it? Because all of the faces on the cube is a square. So we can put here square Okay, so we've done the faces and we've done what the base of it is. There's no pointy bits at the top, so there's no apex on this, but we can talk about these pointy bits here. Can you remember the mathematical name for them? Well done, if it's one, it's a vertex. If there's more than one, it's called a vertice. So let's count the vertices on there here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight vertices on the cube. Let's pop that on. Eight ver... I'm just going to check, I can spell that right, yeah. Vertices. Eight vertices. So the cube has six square faces, a square base, eight vertices. And there's one more thing that we can learn about with a cube. We need to have something called edges for us to be able to make these vertices. So you see these funny bits here? This bit that I can run my finger along. These bits are where the faces come together to make an edge. So this face here, the top face, is coming to join with the side face and it's made an edge along the side of my cube. So I'm going to count how many there are. So I've got one, two, three, four. Now I'm getting a little bit confused because there's so many of them. So what I can do is get my pen. And because it's a whiteboard pen, I can rub it off my shape. So just so that I know that I'm not counting the same one again. So we've got 
one. Can you see that? Two, three, four. Where else can I see some edges? You're right, at the bottom. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that all the edges marked? Have a look. Well done, I've missed some. I've missed some down the side here. So let's go for this one here. So I had four there, four here, so that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's have a look. Can we see any more edges that we need to count? Nope, so that's all the edges. Now I can't remember how many I said, so let's count them together. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a lot of edges, isn't that? So a cube has twelve edges. So this is a cube. Okay, we can tell it's a cube because it has six square faces at the base. It is a square, it has eight vertices and 12 edges. Fantastic, so this is a cube. Well done, so I'll pop that down here. Okay, so the next shape we're going to look at is something called a sphere. As I said in my video yesterday, sometimes we call it a Sophia, but that's a lovely little girl's name. And actually this is Sphere. Sphere. Can you say that? Sphere. Fantastic. Well done. So let's have a look at a sphere. Now, lots of you in cherry class loved playing with the 3D shapes. And the one shape that you loved playing the most with was the sphere because it looks like a ball. So you would use it lots and lots of times, you'd use it to roll things around the room. So now we're gonna learn that the name is actually a sphere, not a ball, and we are going to learn some of the properties of a sphere. So, a sphere is round. It's all the way around. Mm -hmm. But we're not gonna use the word round. We are going to use the mathematical language. So it has, one, because there's only one surface to this, one curved surface. And it's not a face, because it's not flat. It's all the way around, so it's one curved surface. One curved Just realise that I've joined up those letters wrong. I'm just going to write that again. One curved surface. Okay, one curved surface. So it's not a face, it's round, there's only one of them, so it's one curved surface. I'm having a look now, and when we were talking about the cube, we were able to count some vertices. Hmm. Have a look at that. Can you see any vertices? No, nor me. Because there's only one surface, there's no other surfaces to join together to make the pointy bit. So we can say that there are no or zero vertices. Zero vertices. And if there's no vertices, there's no sharp bit for me to run my fingers on. So there's no edges, you're right. No or zero edges. So a sphere, I just said sphere. So a sphere is very easy to remember. Some of the facts, there's one curved surface and there's no vertices and no edges. So, that's the two shapes that we've got today. So we've got the cube and we've got the sphere. 
There is a daily task for you to do. If you have a little look at the document and then you can fill in some of the information that you've learnt today about the sphere and the cube. If you're unsure, because it is a lot of information, while you are doing the worksheet, why don't you have a look at this video and you can fill it in with it as well, okay? Remember, you don't need to print off the video, you can just draw it yourself. Okay, have a lovely day.